Why is Liam Cronin headed to Nebraska? Let's stop selling and start talking wrestling. What's going on wrestling fans? My name is Josiah and welcome to Fanco Wrestling. And you heard that right. Liam Cronin is a graduate transfer from Indiana to Nebraska. So he's transferring schools for his final year of eligibility as a corn husker now now he announces a couple of weeks ago on his instagram page but this was actually made official this week by head coach mark manning now liam cronin said i'm excited to announce that i will be a husker for my final year of eligibility i'm pumped to be a part of such a great team thank you to indiana my former teammates and coaches for supporting me throughout this decision 2021 national champion and he is 100 correct what a great team the brass will be next year and I'll tell you who he's going to be competing against for a spot at 125 who else is in the lineup as well as you know how he did last year how he will stack up here now Cronin last year had a, a decent record he was 17 and 13 overall six and three in big 10 duels now his best win throughout that time came actually against Devin Schroeder who you may know from the big 10 he wrestled especially in the big 10 championship finals um, and actually, Cronin beat him 3-1 to one in the duel, which was an impressive victory. Now, he didn't place uh, as high at Big Tens, but it was a pretty impressive tournament, if I do say so myself. He ended up placing 5th at Big Tens uh, and made a solid run. Now, the, the interesting part here is the guy that he lost to at Big Tens originally was actually the starter uh, for Nebraska, which is, of course, Alex Thompson, the starter for Nebraska, the 125-pounder, uh, who he lost to in the first round by a 17-12 to decision. I mean, what a crazy match that was. But if after that, uh, Cronin actually was able to battle back, being Nick Aguilar of Rutgers, then defeat Malik Heilzman of Ohio State, both of those impressive victories until finally losing to Michael Diagostino of Northwestern by a 3-2 to two decision. So he lost that match to end up going for 5th and 6th, but a very close decision against Northwestern's Diagostino. Now, the funny thing is the last match that these two that he wrestled was actually against Alex Thompson yet again. So these two wrestled twice at the Big Ten Championships, and they will be wrestling again for a starting spot next year. Now, what happened in that match? Uh, well, it was actually Cronin who pinned Alex Thompson in the second period to place fifth. You ended up pinning him in a Turk in an impressive victory. Now going into next season, assuming that Cronin beats uh Thompson again, which, you know, like I said, is a toss up because he won and he lost. They won and they lost to each other at the Big Ten Championships. Uh, but going into next season, right now, Cronin is actually the one who's ranked number 17 at 125 pounds, and he's number seven overall in the Big Ten. Interestingly enough, Flow Wrestling has him ranked behind Indiana's starter, Brock Hudkin. So we'll see how all that ends up turning out, but it will be very interesting to see because Alex Thompson is a talented wrestler himself, uh, and this will be going straight into Nebraska's solid team. I mean, with Cronin or Thompson at 125, then love it, Chad Red. Mikey Labriola, Taylor Vent, I mean, what a stacked lineup Nebraska is going to have. Now, if you're interested in checking out some of the most impressive lineups for the 2021 season, I recommend that you check out this video right here.